Dr. Niles made all the right decisions. There was some unexpected bleeding, but she kept everything on track. Yes, and I was very pleased at how well he took orders. Yeah. My <laughs> husband taking orders? I can't wait to hear all about that. <laughs> Congratulations on a successful surgery. Thank you, it feels good. <laughs> the brilliant Dr. Drake for taking my advice and then taking Lisa's orders. Yes, I know. But giving her the room to make the right decisions was, you know, was the right thing to do. And you to thank for that. Someday you'll learn not to doubt me. Someday. No coffee? <laughs> you must be good. Drake Jr. almost never compliments another surgeon. He thinks that he could have done it better. Oh, Dr. Drake and I go way back. We understand each other. <laughs> Dominic is suddenly acting like it's too dangerous for me to be with him because he's in the mob. Well, that's very noble. Yeah, and a month too late. He spent all this time pursuing me, and now he wants to back off? What? Just thinking about all the complaining you did about Dominic's cheesy pickup lines. Oh my gosh, they were such groaners. Well, they obviously worked. The more that Dominic hung around, the more I got to see the sweet side underneath. Hey, he won me over by being so nice to Morgan. Morgan fell in love with him from the start. My son has great instincts. So I've fallen for a terrific guy and he's basically dumping me. From Dominic's point of view, it makes sense, Lulu. So you think that I should just let it go and, and say thanks for reeling me in, have a nice life? I think you need to take off the rose-colored glasses and look at the danger that I inflicted on myself and my kids by being involved with Sonny. And even Jason, even though he seems to be the exception to every rule. So do you regret it? Even when Sonny and Jason are completely wrong, are you sorry that you stayed loyal to them? No. I was just going over the guest list for uh, the christening Friday. Carly told me that you agreed to come. Yeah, well, she wouldn't take no for an answer. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I'm still kind of on the fence about it. Oh, well, it was going to be a fantastic party. Thanks in no small part to me. <laughs> What's so chipper for? You know, your whole world's about to come crashing down. Sonny's about to get busted. Dante's about to be exposed as the cop who brought the whole thing down. And you are about to be outed as the woman who kept the secret from everybody she knows. Well, I see no reason to anticipate the worst. Your mood has been on an upswing ever since that mysterious errand that you ran. You want to tell me what you did? I'm just saying you keep looking at the worst possible case scenario when realistically anything could happen. Like what? Like... Like, maybe the case against Sonny won't hold work. You know something. Tell me. I spoke to someone high up in the Corinthos investigation. I told him about my ongoing relationship with Sonny. And he's taken Dante off the case. And after everything that Dante did, risking his life to build this case, you double-cross your own child to protect Sonny? So Dominic has been helpful? Oh, yes. All these years I've been working for Mr. Corintos. <laughs> I mind my own business. I don't talk to his business associates. They, they don't talk to me. Well, Dominic's different? Oh, yes, he's so polite and so friendly. That boy's mother, he brought him up right. <laughs> he even helps with the chores. Wow, what kind of chores? Well, sometimes he takes out the trash. One time, he even took out the ashes from the fireplace. Do you remember when? Oh. Um, just after Mr. Corinto's latest wife disappeared. God have mercy on her soul. It was the morning after that terrible rainstorm. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, I've worked for you for a lot of years, too. I know you're a fair man. <laughs> little Michael, well, not so little now. He's always been jealous of Dominic. If he's the reason that you are asking these questions, and I don't want to speak ill of anyone, I just want to say again, Dominic Pirelli is a good man. I appreciate you telling me this. And I'm gonna try to do what you said, and I'm, I'm gonna be fair. <laughs> 
excuse me. Looking for something? 